Have you ever wondered how the world recovered after the devastation of World War II? Picture this, the Earth scarred by the ravages of the most widespread war in human history. The world was in ruins, both physically and emotionally. Cities lay in rubble, economies collapsed, and millions of lives were lost. The political climate was tense, like a powder keg ready to explode at the slightest provocation. Nations were grappling with the aftermath, trying to rebuild in the shadow of destruction while also nursing their wounded pride. The world was divided and the threat of another global conflict loomed large. Amidst this chaos, a need for global cooperation and peace became apparent. Nations realized that they needed to work together to prevent such a catastrophe from happening again. The world needed a platform for unity, for dialogue, for peace. And in the midst of this turmoil, a beacon of hope emerged. The idea of a United Nations. In the wake of World War II, the concept of a United Nations was not entirely new. A similar idea had been attempted before in the form of the League of Nations. Established after World War I, the League aimed to maintain world peace. However, it could not prevent the outbreak of the Second World War, thus marking its failure and dissolution. The horrors of the Second World War made it clear that a new, more effective international body was needed to prevent future global conflicts. The seeds for such an organization were sown during the Dumbarton Oaks Conference held in Washington, D.C. in the autumn of 1944. Representatives from China, the Soviet Union, the United Kingdom, and the United States deliberated over the structure and purpose of this new entity. The baton was then passed to the Yalta Conference in February 1945, where the big three, Winston Churchill, Franklin D. Roosevelt, and Joseph Stalin, agreed on the need for an organization that would maintain peace and security in the world. The term United Nations was used officially for the first time in the declaration they signed. The blueprint was then brought to life at the San Francisco Conference, where delegates from 50 nations convened in April 1945. They spent two months debating, negotiating, and fine-tuning the details of the United Nations Charter. The Charter outlined the organization's purpose, principles, and structure setting the stage for a new era of international cooperation. The charter was signed on June 26, 1945, by the representatives of the 50 nations. However, it wasn't until after it had been ratified by China, France, the Soviet Union, the United Kingdom, the United States, and a majority of other signatories, that the United Nations formally came into being. Finally, on the 24th of October, 1945, the United Nations officially came into existence. Born from the ashes of the most devastating conflict in human history, it stood as a beacon of hope for a world yearning for peace. With the birth of the United Nations, the world saw a new era of international diplomacy and cooperation. This monumental entity, composed of nearly 200 member states, holds a lofty mission to maintain international peace and security to foster friendly relations among nations, and to coordinate international cooperation to solve global issues. The United Nations' role in global peace is perhaps its most recognized. Over the decades, it has facilitated countless peace agreements, dispatched peacekeeping missions to conflict-ridden regions, and sought to prevent disputes from escalating into full-blown wars. But the UN's impact extends far beyond peacekeeping, it plays a pivotal role in upholding international law, promoting human rights, and addressing environmental issues. It has established a framework for international law, setting standards that govern nations' behaviors and relationships. In the realm of human rights, the UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights remains a cornerstone, advocating for the fundamental rights and freedoms of all individuals. With the growing urgency of environmental issues, the UN has also stepped up. It has been instrumental in fostering global discussions on climate change, biodiversity loss, and pollution, pushing nations towards sustainable development. Despite criticisms and challenges, the United Nations continues to stand as a symbol of hope and unity among nations. Its enduring presence underscores its importance in our interconnected world, reminding us of the shared responsibility we hold towards peace, justice, and sustainability. So what have we learned from this quick journey through history? We've revisited the tumultuous era post-World War II, 
the birth of the United Nations, and its enduring impact. This institution stands as a testament to the human spirit, striving to create harmony out of discord, pushing for peace in times of conflict. Its formation marked a pivotal moment in our shared history, a beacon of hope in a world rebuilding. The United Nations, born out of the ashes of World War II, continues its mission to promote peace and cooperation, proving that unity can indeed rise from chaos.